What's up, a cinema show gun here, and yesterday was Britney Spears' 41st birthday, and it was yet another entertaining, odd, eventful day on Britney Spears' Instagram account. There are so many things that we need to talk about. There are so many things that I need to dive into. But first, a quick word from this video sponsor. This video sponsor is the Swagit app. The Swagit app is a new app that allows you to share quick videos of whatever you're interested in. Regardless if it's food, true crime, Britney Spears, you can share short videos of your interest on the Swagit app, and while doing so, you earn something called Swag Bucks that you could use to buy gift cards at your favorite store, or you could cash it out for PayPal Cash. Now, I am actually hosting a $100 giveaway. Whoever follows me on Swagit within the next two weeks is automatically entered into that $100 giveaway. And if you share videos on Swagit, not only will, will I be able to learn more about you and what you're interested in, I could also send you swag bucks. You could send me swag bucks. Over the next couple of days, I will be answering some of you all's questions about Britney Spears and about how I feel about Britney Spears over on Swagit. So go join Swagit today. Not only will you be entered into a $100 giveaway, you will have access to even more content from me, totally free content. Doing this is totally free. Downloading the app is totally free. And over the next couple of days, I will be answering some questions. I, may, I might not be able to get to all of the questions, but I'm gonna upload a post on Swagit right now asking you all what you all would like to know from me. Anything that you would like to ask about Britney Spears. And over the next couple of days, I will be answering some of those questions exclusively over on Swagit. So without further ado, click the link that you will find in my bio, or, I mean, in the description of this video or in the pinned comment. It should take you right there and follow me, Cinema Shogun. And like I said, you're automatically entered into the giveaway and you can feel free to ask away, ask me anything that you would like to know about this whole Britney Spears situation or more specifically, how I feel about this Britney Spears situation. Now, to get into this, I would have to provide you all a, a little bit of a backstory um, because I have thousands of more subscribers now than when I initially started covering the Britney Spears story. So I can't automatically assume that everyone watching this video knows the whole backstory of everything that's going down. But I originally started talking about Britney Spears when she announced that she was pregnant. I, you know, like all people, everyone liked Britney Spears in the 90s, so I liked her growing up, but I, I didn't really pay attention to her career too much afterwards. I know she had that spout where a lot of crazy things went down, and I had heard about the conservatorship. I knew about the Free Britney movement. I loosely kept up with it, but when Britney was supposedly freed, I followed her on Instagram that day. And I was expecting, I was there to support her, and I was expecting something totally different than what we got. And over the coming days, weeks, and months, you know, after following her, I noticed that there was something terribly wrong. But no one was saying anything. No one was talking about it. And I would go into the comment sections of her post just to see if there was anyone else that that noticed there was something wrong. Was it just me? Am I crazy? Was I the only one that saw something weird about her post? And for the longest, 
No one was saying anything. And finally, when Britney Spears announced that she was pregnant, I made a video because I felt like, you know what, I got a small platform, you know, and, and if no one else is going to say something, maybe I need to say something because I felt like it was dangerous for someone in Britney Spears' mental state to be bringing in a, another life into this world. So I spoke about it. People went nuts. People started hating me. People were totally upset about everything I had to say. And then going forward, um, a lot of stuff started happening and people started noticing something was wrong. For one, you know, she announced that she was pregnant. You would have to go back and watch all the videos, but I basically uncovered that that was a total lie. There was no miscarriage. There was no pregnancy. All of that was bogus BS, you know, from the get go. And the only reason Brittany announced that there was a miscarriage is because she was caught riding on jet skis somewhere and there was no baby bump besides the fact she told everyone she was showing and it, it was all complete madness. So everything, you know, just continued to spiral out of control and it continued to spiral out of control until we get kind of to the point that we're at now. And after covering the story for months, because initially I just said, you know, Brittany's dealing with something mentally. And, and not to be mean, I don't want to say Britney's crazy, but Britney's crazy. You know, like uh, Britney's dealing with mental health issues. But there was so much pushback. And then there were so many people that, that were telling me like, no, listen, there's something else going on here. There's this plot to make Britney look crazy so they could take control over her again. Britney's not really crazy. They just make her look crazy on Instagram. Britney's not dealing with mental health issues. Britney is totally fine. Britney is a divine angel capable of doing no wrong. You know, she's perfect. And everything you're seeing, it, it's handlers and other people because they have this plot to make Britney look crazy. So I looked into it and I investigated, if you will, I sleuthed, I, I looked into the story um, for months on end, months on end. And we found a lot of shady stuff. For instance, when Britney Spears would post one of those weird nudes or when a weird nude of Britney would get posted to her Instagram account, simultaneously, Sam Asgari, her husband, would be running an ad on his Instagram account. So when this nude, when these nudes would get posted and traffic would start going to Britney's account, they would then go to Sam's account and see he had a new post and it would always be an ad. And therefore he was generating revenue that way indirectly, regardless. I don't know if it was on purpose, allegedly, but that was happening. So there was a lot of weird things going on, but I mean, you would... To fully, to fully understand, you would just have to watch all the videos, honestly. You would have to go back and watch a countless number of videos to see the progression of where we got while covering the story. But ultimately, I got to the point where from everything that I found and from everything that I looked into, I basically formed the opinion that, no, this is not an elaborate plot that Britney is indeed dealing with mental health issues and running rampant on Instagram. And that's not to say that there aren't other things going on. And that's not to say that I'm totally right. This is my opinion based on all of the information I gathered and everything that I looked into for like six months straight. There are other people who feel different ways and I understand why, because I honestly, my mind is open to a plethora of possibilities. Anything could be possible when it comes to this Britney Spears story. But after all the research I did and after looking into it, I basically came to a point and the conclusion that I came to was that yes, there are people who are taking advantage of Britney's mental state. Yes, there are other people who have control of Britney's account. I can't sit here and tell you it's always Britney on Britney's account. But a lot of the weird and odd behavior, there's just no denying that it's Britney. You know, even if you say, oh, this is this person posting this and this person posting that, 
It's still Britney recording it. It's still Britney being seen or, or, or recording herself spinning in circles and swaying side to side 24 seven. Regardless if it's someone else posting it or not, that's what Britney is doing. So there were a lot of things that you simply couldn't deny. There were a lot of audio clips coming out. So I reached the conclusion that yes, this is Britney. Yes, Britney still has people who are taking advantage of her and probably controlling certain aspects of her life. You know, like why is she never leaving the house? But as far as the weird activity on Instagram and the weird captions that were all over the place and, you know, the attacks on her children and family, I came to the conclusion that it's just Britney. And a lot of her fans, they, they would believe anything, you know, before they'll believe that, oh, that their idol has been reduced to this. Someone who just crazily spins in circles and lashes out at her family member. So they'll cling on to anything else they can because they don't want to accept the reality of the situation. At least that's my opinion. But, but, after saying that, yesterday there was one post, or there were a couple, but there was one post that she posted during her birthday that really made me like just full stop. I read it and I just had to stop in my tracks. Like everything I was doing just had to stop. And I just had to, I was just like, wait, wait. I do not think this is Britney posting this right now. And that is, of course, the post that she posted about her sister. Now, if you've looked into the Britney situation enough, then you know that she is constantly attacking her sister. She drags her sister on Instagram all the time and her fans live for it. They love it. I personally think that it's a bad look and it speaks to the type of mental condition Britney's in when she's constantly attacking her own family on Instagram. But she posted this post on her birthday. It's my B-Day, but you're my heart. So I'm thinking about you. Congratulations on being so brave, inspiring, and showing guts and glory in your show. You ain't alone. If anybody knows what it feels like, I get it. My baby sister. I love you. And that just like, I mean, listen, if you're the average person and you don't know what's going on here, you're going to see that post and be like, okay, whatever. But if you know what's going on here and if you followed this story, that post will have you confused. The last time we heard Brittany talking about Jamie Lynn, she was straight up trashing her. She was talking about like, she hopes her family dies and goes to hell. <laughs> I mean, Britney Spears is really harsh towards Jamie, um, her sister, you know, her, her father, and her mother. So seeing this, it, it, it's totally different than anything Britney has said about her sister. You know, so I don't know where this came from. This reads to me like, Something a social media manager might post on someone's page during their birthday. This doesn't read to me like something Britney Spears would post. But then again, it's like, that's still her family. And maybe Britney Spears is having this change of heart on her birthday. And she's being this loving person. And she's letting some of that trauma go. And she's letting some of that hate go. And personally... I think that's what's best for Britney Spears. So I'm not saying like, oh, Britney Spears said this. This is a bad thing. She's being nice to Jamie. I think it's a good thing, but I don't think it's Britney per se. And if it is, I don't know if this is Britney being forgiving or if this is just another one of those personalities coming out of Britney because we know Britney has these multiple personalities. And if, if you follow her Instagram, you could see when different ones come out and how they conflict with each other. So I don't know what's going on here. But then there were a few posts. Uh, well, let's go ahead and cover this. Immediately, there's so much to talk about. Immediately after posting that post, you know, telling Jamie Lynn that she loves her and stuff. She posted another naked photo. 
of her topless on the beach. And the caption says, come on, sexy girls, mom, take the mic, match up movie star and my hubby, talk shit over my head. What's up, my friends? So when I see that, it kind of drags me back in. And it drags me back into thinking, okay, this is Britney. This reads like a Britney Spears post. The random nude talking all over the place. That's the Britney I know. Saying stuff that makes no sense at all. Come on, sexy girls, mom. Take the mic. Match up, movie star and my hubby. Talk shit over my head. What's up, my friends? That's the Britney Spears I know. So I'm like, are we seeing conflicting personalities here? Is Britney Spears having another episode? And in this episode, maybe she's feeling loving instead of hating and bitterness. And then there are just other random posts from her wedding. She's always posting that. She posts a post that says, why do I look exactly like Jessica Simpson? Also, my face looks pale. She does look like Jessica Simpson in that photo. She posts her Christmas tree, and it looks nice. And then she posts two posts to her sons that say, To both of my boys, I love you. I, lo I would die for you. Godspeed, my precious hearts. I would give anything just to touch your face. I send my love, Mama Sita. Now, this one doesn't come as big of a shock to me because those are her kids. But last time we were hearing from Britney Spears, she was trashing her kids. Britney straight up trashed and thrashed her own teenage sons on Instagram multiple times. I covered it all over my channel. But one thing I did notice is she posted two posts, one to each son. But now only one of those posts are up and the other one has been deleted. So maybe one of her sons had a problem with being up there and he said something about it and she deleted it. I don't know, but there's only one post left. And there was another post of Sam that was deleted. And that takes me to another point. Because the other day when Britney Spears was talking about her birthday, she was talking about turning 12 years old. And usually, you know, you, you look at that like a joke. But in the Britney Spears situation, if you know enough about the situation, I feel like Britney Spears, like one of her alternate personalities is, I don't know the word for it. Someone told me it one time. But basically, like she identifies as like one of her identities or whatever is like a young girl. So she talked about turning 12. And on Britney Spears' birthday cake, there was only one number, and it was the number one. And Sam Asghari was joking about her having her first birthday. And I found that kind of weird. But there were some other weird things, and Sam uploaded these videos over on his account. And I want you to look at this video real quick, and then we'll be right back. Happy birthday. Look how old you are, baby. One years old. Yes. You like it? Yes, yeah, yeah, it's beautiful. Oh, you did. Mm. We're running 30 minutes late. Did all this for her to just be on Instagram and make content. We're running late to dinner. Come on, let's go. This is what I have to deal with. Today is your girl's birthday. You've been together for a few years. You're starting to run out of ideas. You had some outdoor activities planned, but today is the only day it rains in California. Okay. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear baby. Happy birthday to you. Thank you so much. Yay. I love you. Thank you so much, love baby. You. It's time for you to open your gift, baby. Okay. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear baby. Happy birthday to you. Thank you so much. Yay! First of all, the dynamic between Sam and Brittany, it's not real. I I'm not even going to say that it doesn't look real. Let's just be honest. 
that's not real chemistry. That's not how real couples interact. He talks to her like a baby child, an underling. I, 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 there's something so off about it. It is so fake. It is so incredibly weirdly fake. And I, I, I don't say that to be a hater or to be mean. I just say that to be honest, like this looks like a bad acting. It looks like horrible acting. And you always see in the clips that you see that Sam's always talking to her like she's a child. And I don't mean like, oh, you're talking down on, down on her like she's a child. I mean like he's talking to her like a child or kind of like a puppy or something. It's really weird. But here's something you probably missed that happened in the background. You see, there are these rumors out there, these conspiracies that Britney's being recorded in a two-way mirror. Britney has no idea that when she's spinning around and swaying side to side, looking directly at the camera and coming up directly to the camera, that she's being recorded. No, Britney Spears knows that she's recording herself doing all this crazy stuff. That's what makes it worse. There's no conspiracy about cameras behind glass and cameras behind two-way mirrors. If you see that, it's immediately bogus BS because we know for a fact that people are recording her and she sometimes records herself on a ring light. But often Sam's running around her recording her while she's doing all this crazy stuff. And in the background, as you can see, there's someone there, one of her assistants, I guess, recording her as she does her sway side to side video in front of her Christmas tree. So before she could even have her birthday dinner with her husband, she has to sway side to side. And she literally pays people to hold the camera for her while she films those batshit crazy videos. And that is so scary to me. That's someone's job. We talk about the scary videos on Britney Spears' Instagram account. Someone's job, and I'm sure they get paid more than we do. Someone is getting paid more than us to constantly sit there and record Britney all day long, bro. That's the reality of the situation. There are people there. They know damn good and well this woman's not in the right mental health. I'm... <laughs> in the right mental state, I'm sure they have seen way crazier stuff than we can imagine. So yes, right there, you catch a, a quick glimpse at the reality of the situation. At the reality of there being people sitting there recording Britney doing all this crazy stuff that gets posted to Instagram while chilling in her old house that she was supposedly moving out of but all of a sudden, she's back there, and Sam pops up to visits on her birthday. It's weird. It's weird. And listen, that Jamie Lynn post, how can I even argue with that? You know, maybe it's Britney going through one of her things, you know, and maybe it's Britney growing as a person. I hope that's what it is. Maybe it's Britney using her birthday as a time where she could um, be more forgiving and understanding or or however you want to put it. And I'm hoping that's what it is, but that definitely adds fuel to the fire of people thinking that someone is controlling her account. And when I saw it, I immediately thought like, this cannot be Britney. So I don't know. I don't know. It's definitely odd. And there's no denying that the odd behavior on Britney's account has kind of been amplified recently. Like it, it kind of cooled down for a second. And it didn't cool down much, but it's definitely been crazy over the past um, couple of weeks. Who knows what we'll see next? I would like to see... The main thing that I'm worried about, or not worried about, but the main thing I'm wanting to see now is... Do we start seeing her talk about, like, like how can I put it? Alright, are we going to start seeing Britney talk about Jamie Lynn like this now? Like, is Britney going to post more about, you know, being loving towards Jamie Lynn? Or are we going to see in a week from now, we're going to see Britney Spears trashing and attacking Jamie Lynn? Because if we see that, then that's definitely going to make me feel like 
something was going on at this point in time, but who knows? I'm about to get out of here. I want to know your thoughts about this down in the comments below. Like I said, follow me over on the Swag It app. You enter the $100 giveaway. Ask me anything you want to ask me over there about Britney Spears, and I'll be answering some of those questions. But for now, let me know your thoughts in the comments. While you're down there, hit the thumbs up, hit the subscribe, ring the notification bell, and I'll talk to you all in the next video.